Welcome back guys. So um, today we're going to build on um, what we've learned already and concentrate on the fundamental building blocks of uh, coming up with a bass line. Now a lot of uh, at least Western music is written around uh, standard time or 4-4. Four, four. Um, now this music is um, based around groups of four notes within what's called a bar of music. Now, if you look at um, written music, then it's divided up into different sections, and each one of those sections is a bar of music, um, in which put it's in 4-4, four, four, there's four beats per bar. We'll look at um, different time signatures later. Now, um, the different note values that you can put within that all go towards um, building up different rhythms that you can play on the bass. Um, today we're just going to look at each of those note values independently and um, we shall um, play along. So um, I should say at this point that we're just playing the notes today um, but there is also the equivalent of uh, what's called a rest for each note value um, and a rest is uh, just a pause in the music. So um, where you can play a length of note, you can also not play for that length of time, and that's the equivalent rest for that value. So there's we're going to concentrate on uh, very, very basic rhythms here today, um, and we'll build up on those in, in future videos. Um, but um, what I want to do is um, start off with the longest note value and then build up to... Um, what's called 16th notes. Now, um, apologies to my more classically trained uh, contemporaries out there. I will be using the Americanisms of these ones, I feel. You know, it's what I use personally, and um, certainly when you're starting out, the, um, the values do kind of make more sense in terms of what they mean musically. Um, but I would recommend that you go out and um, look up the proper names for these things and uh, learn those too, because it's also all useful musical knowledge. So we're going to be running um, with a metronome here today because I want to um, get into your mind um, how this relates to other mu other musicians when they're playing and most importantly to the drummer who's keeping the beat behind you. Um, so we're going to be working at a fairly slow tempo, um, but I'll be working um, from the, the longest note through to the shortest note or rather to the 16th note. So beyond that, it starts getting really, really, really fast and we, we don't need to concentrate on that just yet. So... Um, the first note we want to be playing is the whole note. Now in a bar of 4-4, four, four, this is a note that lasts four beats. So it's one note you hold over a whole bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to put the rhythm on so you can hear that in situ. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. So that's really, 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 really simple. The next note we're going to look at is the half note. Um, and as you may guess with that one, this is a note that lasts two beats. So it takes up half a bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're starting to build up now. The next note, as you may guess, is the quarter note. Now this is a note that lasts just one beat. So for a bar of 4-4, four, four, we're going to play four beats. Really simple. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the next note is um, where we're going to start getting into uh, really sort of useful driving rhythms when we come to writing bass lines, and this is the eighth note. Now this is a note that lasts half a beat, so you get eight notes within a bar of 4-4. Four, four. And um, where we've been counting the beats so far, um, the useful uh, way of counting on the eighth note is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. So each note, one and two and three and four. Play along with the drums. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
Okay, so um, now we're getting up to the 16th notes, which is where I'm going to get to and stop for today. Um, so the 16th note, as you may guess, there's 16 notes within a bar. Each note lasts a quarter of a beat. So now we're starting to get up into a bit of more speed um, in terms of your notes. Um, and we'll stop after this one for today. Um, but um, as it starts getting uh, more difficult to count, um, you know, it's when you're learning to play, the easiest way, where we've got to the eighth notes is one and two and three and four. Um, the fairly universal way that people will count these ones, it may sound a bit silly to start with, but the easiest way to count is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So when you start dividing up these rhythms, if you're thinking about it in this method, you can think you're landing on a beat or you're landing on an and or you're landing on an E or however you know the rhythms go. So that's sort of the um, the main building blocks in there. And each of these note values um, obviously can be used in in different orders. You can mix them up, and that will build towards uh, more progressive bass lines as you learn them. But for the time being, it's really useful just to be able to play each of those note values independently especially the long ones. When you start out, you really want to be playing fast. You want to get onto the 16th um, and be playing, chugging those out. But a lot of bass lines, it's great to just to have a long held note underneath what's going on um, elsewhere musically. Um, and so uh, concentrating on holding those and getting it on the beat each time um, can really build towards being a more solid bass player in the future. So practice those. Um, get used to the note values and um, we'll start building up some basic bass lines. Mm -hmm. 